What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports. I'm in the building with nonfiction. My name is Zach. How's everybody doing? How you doing, Nan? I'm doing well, man. I'm just trying to get situated. I had to run some late errands, and it's it was hot as hell outside. Hot. <laughs> it, 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 a little, little steam. It was actually chilly this morning uh, by us. It was chilly this morning, and then and then it got really hot oh, during the middle of the day. <laughs> It was 95 degrees, brother. 95 no degrees. kidding, huh? Man, that's crazy because we actually have beautiful <laughs> weather. <laughs> we actually have beautiful weather uh, like all uh, all weekend. Like tomorrow, the high is like 72. So I'm going to play some golf tomorrow, and I'm like, oh, yeah, dude. I said we're going to go at 1, 1 p.m. because, I mean, that's perfect weather. I get a little sun, you know, and don't have to worry about, you know, dying of a heat stroke. Well, I mean, you are going during the hottest time of time of the day. One PM is the worst time to go. <laughs> well, I know, but it's a discounted price, and like I said, the high is only seventy two. Like I ain't tripping about that. I ain't tripping about no seventy two. <laughs> That's why it's discounted. They were like, "Hey, go ahead and come and golf. Take the risk of dying by heat stroke. <laughs> we'll give you but, a discount. We'll give you a discount for the heat stroke." <laughs> but man. <laughs> That that's complete, uh, but seventy two ain't that hot. Like like seventy two is chill. That's why I was like, oh, I don't mind because when it's hot, when it's hot, we normally go around ten. That way, we finish it up around noon. You know, maybe nine o'clock. But I, I bet you, I bet but you, seventy two ain't hot. It's not gonna be seventy. It's not gonna be. But I'm saying it's today here is ninety five. It's not gonna be seventy two tomorrow. Watch, man. It, it's gonna it, be it, some it, way worse. You're gonna well, be like, it's, milk was a bad choice. <laughs> It's fifty-seven to eighty is what it's showing right now. Fifty-seven at the low, eighty at the high. That that still ain't even bad. And apparently, we got no humidity this weekend, which is crazy. I don't know how we managed to get that kind of miracle, but that's what we got. So I'm not going to complain about that at all. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what's good, everybody? Skyline the Bill said doing great. I had the heater on this morning. You had the heater on this morning? Goodness gracious! You are cold blooded, though. You're nuts, woman. <laughs> like it was a little chilly this morning, but it wasn't that bad. But yeah, man, it's like it's like ten dollars cheaper to go after after one, and then there was a discount online. So like instead of paying forty five dollars, end up only paying twenty five bucks for uh to to go play per person. Oh yeah, I mean I, I totally get that. I just I know from just my this. My experience is whenever I don't trust the weather like that because the weather changes on its own. Yeah, computers they never hundred percent accurate, so 
And in the middle of the day, mm. I just have too many bad memories of doing stuff like that in Fresno. And it'd be like, oh, it's going to be 65. Go out there and it's fucking 95. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going home. I'm out. I love it. Taking my ball. Uh, as home. bad as I am at golf, I'm going to take the discount. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the discount. And the heat stroke will force <laughs> me to leave early if I got to. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be my excuse if I start hitting too many water balls. Uh, what's good, Andre? How you doing, man? <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys. So today we're obviously covering the final four. We will be live for both games. I'm not sure if the next live is set up for the next game or not yet. But uh, we will be live for both games. You know uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> obviously right now we got NC state versus South Carolina. And I, I mean, this is a favored by South Carolina. Like there's no reason South Carolina should lose this one, but NC state has been, has been sneakily really good this year. I mean, I'm hoping for some good competition. We had great games last week or earlier this week uh, in the, the top eight. W what you expect for tonight? Oh, I, I, I expect it to be a good game. I don't know how, how close it's going to be. I, I My expectation is SE to pull it out. SE is still undefeated. I think they're 36-0 currently. So, I mean, I think it's going to keep rolling just until the finals, to the, to the last two games. I think yeah. gonna be, they're the team to beat. For every team that faces SC, they're the team to beat for the entire thing. I think – I mean, you have a coach who came in and retooled the entire, entire front five. Mm -hmm. The front five all graduated. Some went to the WNBA. Some went on to, you know, respective jobs. But – to be able to do that and continue what she was doing for the, like three years in a row, this is it's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. With yeah, that coach I mean Davis. they've only only lost one game over the last two years, and that was against LSU last year, who went on to win the championship. But you know this team is hungry. They felt like they got mm -hmm. robbed last year. They felt like they were deserving of making it to the championship, so they're going to prove it here tonight. And uh, like Andre said, we got another game coming up right afterwards between uh, Iowa and uh, UConn. Kayla Clark and Becker. It, it, that matchup is going to be electric and a lot of fun to watch, man. There's so much talent uh, in women's college basketball right now, uh, and it's so good for the sport. It's getting more views in NBA games right now, and uh, and to be honest, it's about time. Yeah. I mean, the the, the, the next game with the Huskies and, and the Hawkeyes will be a very interesting matchup because Paige, who we all know got injured the last time that UConn hit the, the, the finals, and she she wasn't able to play. She was sitting on the sideline, watch her team lose, and watch Iowa go on to play against, you know, play against LSU. So this is this is her moment. This is her moment. So many people have talked about Caitlin Clark, which, you know, she needs to be talked about because she is a great talent, a very good player, uh, definitely one of the best scorers in, in the NCAA women's division. But Becker is not somebody that you just like shred off. No. She's so she talented. She plays both sides of the field. And she the girl can ball. She can ball. She's, they've both been balling since a very long, young age. So I'm looking forward to see what happens in this matchup too. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, tip-up should be underway soon. We're about five minutes past six o'clock. Uh, let me, uh, let's see. We don't have a poll up. Let's go ahead and get some polls up. That way we can uh, see who y'all got winning this one. Uh, let's see. Andre said, uh, Cord uh, Cordosa is going to feast. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Andre. Oh, yeah. Camila Cordosa, Cordosa is going to ball. I think she's definitely, I think she's a defensive player of the year. Um, she's definitely going to be a blue chip in the draft for the WNBA. Everybody's going to be looking at her game, see what she does. What up, Ron? Ron said Gamecocks <laughs> gives him a reason so he can say that without getting in trouble. I, I respect it. We already know who you're going for, my brother. But also, we'd like to give a shout out for Coach Don Staley, who is again the coach, Nate Smith Coach of the Year. I believe she's won it. Congrats, congrats. Twice back to back or three times back to back? So that's pretty fine. I think she's the second coach to do that. I think she's like the second coach to do that. And it just, I think, I think this year shows how good she is at being a true leader. To so like I said, to lose a bunch of her seniors last year to you know the either the portal or the WNBA or just you know them graduating and being professional, going to the professional world. This is very impressive, and not to not only come into the final four into possibly to a championship, but to do it undefeated. That's mm -hmm. that's impressive as hell.
Well, I know is I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I watched all the games uh, earlier this week, and they were just phenomenal. Like it, it was, it was much watch TV, and I hope that these games end up being the same exact way. Oh, I agree with you, brother. I agree. Uh, two weeks ago, I was on a uh, stream when the uh, Longwood Lancers played, and the streamer said, "Ron, I know which team you're cheering for." <laughs> That's awesome. <man. laughs> we all know Ron. <laughs> I I used to uh I used to live on a street that was called Longwood Court. And man, I used to try and steal that street sign every chance I could. <laughs> every time there was a storm, I would try to rush out like a big storm, like a hurricane. I would try to rush out and go grab it. And dude, like I tell you, one time I went to go get That's it and a dude beat me to it. And he's like, ha he like literally looked at me and goes, ha, I got it first. <laughs> like like we both were thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was like, you bastard. I was like, I'm going to get it next funny. time. <laughs> That's funny. Is that girl just about... You know what? That's actually kind of legit. You know how much I'd entertain myself What's that? swinging like that? Just kicking myself back and forth off the fence board? <laughs> <laughs> that little conversion that they were showing. I'm oh man, not seeing it right now because I'm looking at the. Oh, camera. I got you. But uh, anyway, how's everybody doing today, man? How how have y'all been? I know it's been uh quite some time. We're finally getting back into a routine. A little double header tonight. It's been a while since we've done a double header. Probably since probably since the playoffs concluded for the NFL. So we're we're here for a good oh, time. It's definitely been a been a moment and a long time. We we all out here. Uh, we also have a video dropping uh, tonight, sure. <laughs> correct? We have a video dropping tonight? At 8 p.m. I think it's Uh-oh. 8. Yes, sir. Cool, cool. And uh, it's Rally Cars versus Houses. <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. And, great and video. I'm, great. I'm so ready for it, man. <laughs> as soon as someone recommended that uh, <laughs> title to us, I was like, yeah, we're doing this right now. Right now, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so I got the eight, so nine, six. Okay, that is what is. Hmm. Oh, YouTube. Oh, here we go. YouTube TV messed me up. I'm back now. I got it. Uh, almost time for uh the playoffs too. Yeah, man, just a couple weeks away. Definitely excited for it. Scott said, bro, I got a real question. Well, I hope I can give you a real answer. You know what I mean? A real answer. What you got? What up, Dolph? Hey, yo, shout out Dolph from the Keeping It Real. Who that sports up, podcast. Bro? Also, our partner in the up and coming Come On In Sports Network. Oh, y'all better get ready. Y'all better get ready. It's about to be a show come draft time. Day one of the NFL draft will be the opening debut of something phenomenal, something to take over the YouTube sports world. All right, let's get ready for tip. And it's going to be won by South Carolina. All right, going ahead, working around the screen, Joe up top, working his way into the inside. Kicks out, trying to go down into the low post. Good defense so far. Finally get it underneath. This is going to be stripped, stolen. NC State on the run. Transition offense leading to a little off layup. Now South Carolina bringing it down to the opposite end. Both teams playing with a lot of pace, as you expect in these big games. It's the ones who settle in that end up walking away with the win. There it is. First score is up as the little floater drops for South Carolina. Tahini Papoa. Oh, bad pass. South Carolina on the run after the steal. Kicks out. Corner three. Buckets. Splash. Raven Johnson with the three. Big time three started off. Now, NC State dribbling, working around the screen, getting trapped. 
Going back in towards the middle. Good, tough defense. Can't get it over the big center. Good offensive board. going to put up a tough one. No foul, but we'll get the basket. NC State finally putting some points up on the board. It's going to be Baldwin. River. I love her first name. Her first name is River. River. Yeah. River Baldwin. Reminds me of River Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, South Carolina trying to get hungry from three. It's going to be a little strong off the back of the rim. Uh, let's see. Just to go back to comments real quick. Uh, said, what should I drink this weekend for the parade? Laugh out. Real light problems. <laughs> Treat you <to> water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Get you, get you some. Uh, get you get you your uh, your little your little drinks that you like. The little vodka ones. I can't think of the high noons. Uh, is this the podcast I'm banned from? I, I think so, Ron. We're going to get you unbanned, though. <laughs> uh, Skylar said, will I be at the draft? Oh, yeah, we got to talk uh, about I mean, possibly if you want to. We're going to have a big room. I think it's on a Friday. All right, NC State was able to go down and score a bucket, so it's going to be 5-4. to four. Works inside. Unlucky. Can't get the uh, finish. The offensive rebound and a tie-up between NC State and South Carolina, but the ball is going to go towards NC State as the possession arrow dictates. Good offensive rebound by South Carolina. Just couldn't get it back up. Oh, dangerous pass underneath. To Rivers. Rivers tries to hand it back. It's going to be easily stolen. One-on-one. -on -one. Transition bucket. No good. And almost over the back foul. They're going to say out of bounds off South Carolina. Rivers sets the high screen. Good strip. South, dude, South Carolina's defense is just locked down right now. Nobody is getting any good looks. Even the even the one bucket oh, that yeah, I've they, seen. They have a great <laughs> I mean, just great contact, good awareness, great hands. Always, always getting a, a finger at least on the ball as they're trying to uh whether it's trying to post up or set up a dribble. Now up by just one. It's a very disciplined defense team. Good wrap up by NC State to slow down the drive inside. It gets kicked back out, and they're going to be called on a charge. Both teams playing very well on defense so far. Smart, holding their stance, making sure they're moving their feet. Are you watching ESPN? Yep. One ESPN too. Yeah, I watch ESPN. Which one? Because they both show it, but two different styles. Uh, just I think just regular ESPN. Uh, okay, because ESPN two has a different commentary. I mean, I do plan on playing unless you don't want to get beat by a girl. No, not no, Skylar, not that draft, <laughs> the real draft. <laughs> Three point shot for <laughs> James. Oh my god! From way downtown, NC State takes their first lead. Shooting 51% field goal percentage and 57 from three-point range Azia in the James. tournament. Yeah, she, she is a baller. Cardoza underneath able to finish. But it's hard to stop Camila Cardoza. Oh, they got to... Oh, they're going to get a blocking this time. Are we synced up now? Do I need to pause any? No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I just I just turned it on. You're fine. Okay. I'm going to make sure my thumbnail is fine. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, I just turned it on. Okay, perfect. All right, Camila inbound. Cardoza, she is a beast. Absolutely. All right, three-point shot, little strong. Long rebound gathered in by NC State. 
All tied up, 7 all. James bring it up. She wants to get hot. Three-point bucket up and good. Splash. Good. What a shot. She's feeling it now. That ball better go through her every oh, yeah. offensive okay. possession. Drive, kick out. Now Ten working it inside. Four. Great defense by NC State. Able to get a tap at it. Right Steal, hands. now moving. Another three. Just short. Missed by Madison Hayes. Card <laughs> she's she's too she's Cardoza too composed like down there, like, man. Just just feed me. Right now, Cardoza looking like a she's looking like a young Shaq. She's like barbecue chicken. <laughs> Sanaya Rivers. Great pass by Rivers. It down. I mean a nice finish by Rivers. Great work inside. And I love I love what South Carolina is trying to do right now. They're just trying to push it inside. They want to tire out Rivers and, and get her out this game as, as quickly as possible. Constantly setting them up oh, on the yeah. block, oh, knowing yeah. that Cardosa can can is a little more fitness, can battle a little bit longer than what she can to try and uh, extend what oh. they have. But right now, NC State is shooting, shooting this time a bit long. Zia James with the long, long three. Score still 12-9, 351 to go in the first quarter. Watkins drives off the glass, just off. A little too strong off the glass. Mm, Ooh. Bad. Yeah, a little ugly bounce, too, at the end. James. Very bad pass, but Rivers was able to gather it. Oh, see, number one has got to I got to check in right once she saw both. Uh, she sets the she sets the high screens for Soraya uh, Rivers, moves around it. The yeah. big gets sucked in and end up forgetting about about number one. All she had to do after her her hedge <laughs> was to go straight inside. There was nobody in the paint, but lack of awareness there led to a hard uh, attempt and you know a missed opportunity. Yeah, ends up ends up being SC's ball. Uh, you know, I've been watching the Flash lately, and, and I don't know why this just made me think about it, but uh, I can't remember the dude's name. But he's like, he's like, make a plan, perfect the plan, and then throw away the plan. Like, like that's what I feel like she had to do there. I know what the play was, but it never always works out exactly the plays you do. You got to have some awareness as well. Oh, yeah, you got to be paying attention to the field, to the court. I'm sorry. Okay, I think this thumbnail is finished. B E A, beautiful. Paige Beckers, Caitlin Clark. Make her name a little bit bigger. Six. Ooh. So, now nah, what's your thoughts? As we talked about and mentioned a little bit the other day during our podcast with uh, BKR Sport. Uh, but what's your thoughts on Angel yes. Reese uh, declaring uh, for the WNBA? I think there's, well, it's twofold. One, when she goes to go into the WNBA, she definitely got to get her game to another level. I think she does well in, in the NC2A arena, but definitely there's some dogs in the, in the WNBA that's going to make her work because she's already coming in as she's a big, she's a big quote unquote. But there's but a lot of size. female players in the in the league that are so much that are so much taller than her, and I think more athletically inclined than her to be honest. But at the same time, in the, some the aspects, type of games they've had her run. But yes, yeah, at some points, there's some games that they have had her run. It kind of fit that type of style of offense. offense. So we yeah. got to see how she flows into a different type of offense. That's, yeah, I, that's I'm interested really to see decision. how how the things that she was successful in at LSU, 
how that's going to translate into WNBA. Because I can't imagine her playing yeah. at a center position. She's going to have to, at the worst or at the best, play a power forward. Um, and, you know, with that, she's going to have to develop, a, you know, a little mid-range shot. And, you know, she's going to have to shoot at least 30, you know, 33, 35% from three-point range. Like, that's something that she's going to have to elevate her game to be able to be successful in the WNBA. Like, highly successful. Because it's hard, yeah. man. It's hard to be... Uh, to be big time. There's not as many teams as what the NBA is. And there's a lot of great talent that comes out of college that ends up being forgotten about because their game doesn't always translate. Very true. Very true. Uh, what's very, up, way back? True. I agree Said, uh, good day, boys. How are we today? Oh, man, living living our best life, man. How you doing? How's Canada? You're doing great, how, man. How's Especially the, now the we're dark? here. Exactly. Now we're excited. I'll tell you the one thing, though, that I, I do find ridiculous. Yeah. The fact that these players, after losing in the tournament, they only have 48 hours to decide whether they're going to declare yeah. or stay in college. Absolutely ridiculous. That's too much of a, a big decision yeah. to allow um, the emotions of a 48-hour window dictate what you do. Especially if you, you, know, you go in and you lose and it's a devastating loss. That can really be like, oh, I guess it's just not my time no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it might not be that situation. You just emotionally are not in the right mindset to make the proper decision, like you just right. said. Uh, that's dangerous. So out the break, South Carolina able to get an easy bucket. Oh, great steal once again. I think it's like the third steal for SC or uh yeah, for SC. Oh. But blows the layup. Oh no. Oh goodness. Rivers Rivers gets swatted by Watkins. <laughs> she, her, she started running and couldn't figure out how to stop and jump. <laughs> like you start you saw her kind of laughing. She like <laughs> lost her balance. She's like, oh shit. I don't, I don't what do I gotta do here. <laughs> but a uh, great defense, nonetheless, by South Carolina to close in on that fast break opportunity. Lucky for NC State, they're gonna get it back on the inbound. They're gonna feed River. Oh, I'm sorry. Wiley down below. And it's going to be a jump ball. And as we know, in college, it'll go to the possession, which goes towards South Carolina. So another, basically a turnover. Uh, living the dream here, boys. Hey, well, that's good to hear way back. All right. South, South Carolina working it inside to out, back in. Great, great positioning underneath. Great post work. That's just beautiful mm -hmm. basketball. I mean, there's NBA athletes that I don't see have as has uh, as steady and patience in the post like that. Yeah. Yeah, because the fact that she went to a, a third pivot is like that's just the patience is smart, like you said. Unlucky on the three point but attempt, but gets time, her own rebound and finishes the two. Takes yeah, take the lead back. Boy Brooks. Fourteen thirteen, one twenty-five to go. Wiley loses it, gathers it back, kicks out, now working back inside. Some that South Carolina's been wanting to do all night. And this pass way off. Unfortunate turnover. Man, look at look at Dawn Stay. Dawn Stay says she got that Louie on today. Who you think you is? You bougie dog? Yeah. <laughs> you got that Louis jacket? She's like, Sheesh. No, she's not bougie. She just she just showing what you know title runs look like. That's what they look like. <laughs> hey, I respect it. Great nice, cut. Nice backdoor pass. It's Cisco's and Zoe Brooks in the, the layup from Azia James. Is this a finals game? So this is the final four. Uh, way back, so we have two games tonight, and this determines who goes to the championship. Uh, shot's going to be short, just 40 seconds to go. NC State in control by three points. Kicks it out to the corner. Great little jumper, too strong. Rebound, South Carolina now on the push. They can hold out for the last basket if they want. They're going to shoot a quick three instead. Oh. Buckets. Splash. Pass. Ashley Watkins. 
You know, I think that's what I'm gonna do now. Is on my soundboard. For Wally made that last three. Yeah. I'm gonna create different like pages on my soundboard. One for like just different sound alerts for different like things for like making a busket like cash. I'll have like a cash register yeah. ching sound. So we got 16 16 at the end of the first. Very good. I, I'm so far happy with, with how the game is going. It's interesting, though. They were talking to some of the coaches for SC, and they were saying that the girls, it doesn't, to them, to the team, it doesn't feel like, you know, that they're trying, they have to, you know, they have to protect home court because being, the, being that they're undefeated one and they're technically first overall, they don't feel that pressure. And I'm like, that's kind of dangerous. To that be is this very deep into dangerous. the NC2A, NC2A championship, and you don't feel the pressure. So it's like everything out that I don't think that means everything's coming easy. It's just that they feel really prepared and confident with what they're doing. And I think mm. that's a that's a so crazy and deadly for SC. Absolutely. It's like no case. Oh, they give zero Fs. <laughs> zero Fs is given. I was like, that's kind of fire though. <laughs> Okay. Let's see what it uh <laughs> yeah, that one looks see Dolph said uh will uh will I'm assuming you mean Caitlin. Will Caitlin go for fifty points tonight? Give us the over under fifty. Oh man. Oh no. She ain't I don't 50. think so. She ain't going fifty. <laughs> she might she she I'll give her like she 30, might hit 30, 27, but I don't think she's going fifty. Yeah. I give it thirty. I was thinking like thirty twenty seven. I don't think she's going fifty. Because Paige, Paige herself is going to probably go for about 25. Because she's oh, yeah. averaging she, 22. She's going to have to score a lot. It's going to be interesting how uh, UConn defends, uh, is going to defend her. I mean, they got to take the ball out of her hands. That's the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. But also, Iowa got to defend Paige. Oh, Paige, yeah. she's, she's, she can ball too. That's why I think it's it's great that these two teams are playing each other. Because, like I said, Paige being injured, you know, last year and and not really being able to play, the mm-hmm. being overshadowed by the 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 big shadow of Caitlin uh, Caitlin Clark, this would be a good moment for her. Good moment. Absolutely. Uh, way back said, who's the other two teams left to play? So, uh, the last two teams is the Iowa Hawkeyes versus the UConn Huskies. Uh. And that's led by the Hawkeyes are led by Caitlin Clark and the Yukon Huskies are led by Paige Becker. I'm like, I've liked Paige Becker's game since she was in high school. That girl can play, man. Mm-hmm. She has such a complete, such a complete skill set. Okay. Thumbnail is finished. Let me close canvas. I don't need you open no more. Let me make sure. Mm-hmm. Huskies, Hawkeyes, APM. I always got to look over it again to make sure. Oh, no, I hear you. <laughs> Rocket so Mortgage. I'll be Phil uploaded Hicks. and be like, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, two winners into the West finals. Moore. And uh, did the two losers play for third place? No. So the two loser, uh, the two losers are finished after this. So yeah, it's just just for the finals. Okay. Oh, that's that's what's different. I mean, dude, the thing is, so far with this game is the fact that defensively both teams are playing great. I mean, you know. South Carolina are getting the ball in the position that they would like to get in. They want to work down low. They're playing great defense, but yeah. the score is tied right now. You know, NC State, it especially with uh, yeah. uh oh goodness, uh, NC State's That's Jane good, knocking down those couple threes is absolutely huge. Shooting fifty seven percent during the tournament from three point land is what has kind of kept them in it. If they can work outside. And, and string together some three-point shots and force South Carolina to have to shoot the ball from outside the perimeter, that'll give them their best chance, their best opportunity at trying to take down the undefeated oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, Gamecocks. Oh, yeah, if they can conquer the perimeter, because that, that pretty much takes Camila Cadoza out the game, which is the you know exactly. the, like I said, defensive player of the year. So 
that would that would be a big change that they wouldn't be used to. So we'll be back here with the second quarter. All tied up at 60. NC State starts with the ball. Got some all ball movement. NC State working it down low. Hayes. Great defense again by South Carolina. Finally, he's going to get a little drive inside. Turnaround shot. Short. It's going to be rebounded by South Carolina. Almost lost it. They're almost trying to move a little too quick in transition. Wear them down. That's what you got to do if you're South Carolina here. And that's what they do. Going inside for the easy two-point bucket by Camila Cardoza. Okay, I'm gonna Ball gets loose for NC State. Perfect. Kicks it out. Three-point shot for James. Going to be short, but offensive rebound again for NC State. Give it to her again. Hey, look, she's shooting 57%. That The odds are she's going to make the next one. Rivers kicks out. Left side, three. <laughs> Air ball. Pow, pow to bring it up for uh, SC. Working the ball up top. They want to get it down to Cordoza. Cordoza can't gather up the ball. It's going to be a turnover. Rivers bring it up for NC. Now working around the screen, pulling up from the mid-range. Got it. That clears. And that's what NC is going to have to live with. They're not going to be able to get wide open looks. They're going to have to live with the space they get. So any opportunity of of you know non lockdown defense, you got to go and try and take a bucket, a chance at a bucket. Oh yeah, most most definitely, bro. After the air ball, NC State has numbers moving down the court, but it's going to lose it off her feet. Now a two on two situation. South Carolina stolen again. Things getting a little ugly. NC State with the numbers kicks out left side. Hezzy. Step back, shot, no good. Oh, just no spin on the ball. I think knuckled in the air. Mm. Cordosa down low. She's going to instantly get tripled and then fouled. And I believe this would be the first free throws of the night. I believe you're correct. <laughs> Somebody just screaming like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's Demar, it's uh, Demar Derozan's daughter, man. <laughs> you might be right. I was thinking about that too. <laughs> Both free throws drop for SC. Twenty eighteen. Rivers with the ball up top, backing it up. Nothing really going, and no movement. Everybody's just standing there. And that's what River saying. It's like, anybody going to do something? Now the shot clock down to five. They're going to work it inside. Tough shot. No good. A little bit of a push off that doesn't get called. She wants the foul, but you threw her. That's just a horrible offensive possession by NC State. Now, South Carolina, what they do best is make them pay. Cordoza with another one. Now at 10 points for the night. Four for four. Little jump shot for Rivers. And this offense for NC State is just stagnant. There's no off-ball movement anymore. Players are, are getting it inside and taking just bad shots because shot clock is running down. Or they're just playing hero ball. And again, underneath, Cordoza. Time and time again, making them pay 24-18. Just too simple. After a great first quarter, NC State has slowed down. Need to find a good bucket here. Great defense. Collins trying to back him down. No luck. Full win underneath. Goes, puts it up. They want the travel, aren't going to get it. Finally, NC State gets another bucket here. 24-20. to 
and just great. How how do you lose Cordoza? She scored the last eight points. How do you <laughs> lose Cordoza and allow her to have the a uh, uh, a backside cut? Brooks is going to go you ahead don't. and put up She's the easy the one. player on the, on, the, on the court. Right. Cordoza gets it, trying to work it underneath. The NC State able to get a hand on it. Almost able to save it, but it's going to be out of bounds off the NC. So South Carolina will have 11 seconds to, uh, to go unless they decide to adjust the uh, clock. I don't believe a possession change. They shouldn't. And they will not. So 11 seconds to get a shot off for SC. Cardoza to take a break now. Ball inbound. Johnson. Is going to get blocked, and they're going to call a charge. Goodness gracious. <laughs> you know, taking a charge is definitely a very good thing, but, like, I... Man, I've never liked the it's whole hard. hype, hype around hard, it, man. though. I know it is, but, like, it's like... Oh, best it's, charge it's taker art, in the league. I'm like, yeah. okay. That's because it, it changes. It ch like like we talked about before. It changes the offense. It makes them think differently. It makes their approach differently. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, great steal! NC I mean, now down by just two with an opportunity, and they're going to be a foul. It's going to be on the floor. So it should be an inbound for NC State with an opportunity to tie things up. Cordoza goes out. NC State comes back. Yet to miss his half. She's yet to miss at all. And it doesn't look like yeah, she plans on missing right anytime now. soon. The uh, company I was telling you about yesterday reached back out to us. Oh yeah, what? Uh, everything seemed cool. Oh, they're they're letting us uh <laughs> to give the well, we got to give them a they want a proposal. <laughs> okay. Well, cause I think is with that company too, is their like following isn't like super super high. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't say that they got they got so many people in their pocket, like it, like whether it's like athletes and stuff like that. Like Travis Kelsey has been seen using it. Obviously, Mike using it. Other artists and different like country yeah. singers and stuff like that all have used it. Just feel like mm -hmm. be so sick. And then Cody's supposed to give me another one because he won one for free, but he doesn't drink anymore. So he's like, he's like, I'll just give you it. And I'm like, all right, I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> I feel like it'd be perfect, man. I hope we're able to get it to work out. It could be cool. It definitely could be cool. Uh... Go. There we go. Oh, it's hot, man. I'm so it, it never fails. <laughs> My dang 
AC breaks right before summer. Never fails, dude. Uh, but appreciate everybody for tuning in. <laughs> I hope so everybody uh, is doing well. See a couple more faces in here. Hope everybody's doing good. Make sure y'all go ahead and let our uh, give your predictions on the poll, as well as hit that like button if you haven't already on the stream. We'll be doing a double header tonight. Immediately after this game, we'll be switching ourselves over to game two between the Iowa Buckeye uh, Buckeyes, Jesus Christ, Hawkeyes, and the Yukon Huskies. <laughs> I'm thinking Buckeyes got uh, someone made a fake uh, br uh brawny uh profile and like just keeps cropping him in uh photoshopping him in different jerseys now that he's hit the tra uh the transfer portal and and certain ones get trending and people keep thinking it's him announcing where he's going. <laughs> and so the Buckeyes oh, was I one that was filled with my thing today. For the NBA draft. I think it's a mixture. So I he's doing he both. So yeah. it's both. He's announced for the draft and in into the transfer portal. So Cardoza is going to come back in after a short uh, rest. Off the miss, South Carolina now with the ball. Wanted to work into Cardoza again. She's going to shoot from the free throw strike. No good that time. Surprised she doesn't just try to go down low there. I know she's open, but. You attack it down low has worked every single time. Good yeah. shot for the mid-range. Doesn't drop, though. South Carolina with numbers underneath. They lose her again. How do you lose her? Of all people, it makes no sense. Cardoza. Cardoza sitting on 16 points right now. Unbelievable. Scored all 12 South Carolina points in the second quarter so far. Jumper, no good. <laughs> so crazy. Okay, so... Cordoza passes it down low. Ugly little hook shot by Watkins. Watkins has been great on the boards. Hasn't looked great on the offensive side of the ball, though. We're going to outside. James with it. Hesitating. Crossing over. Lose it for a second. Great cut. But it's going to be blocked by Watkins. Watkins on defensive end is just something spectacular, man. Cardoza with it up top. Johnson pulls up off the screen. Gets it to drop. 30. To 24, six-point lead again, tied with their highest lead so far of the night. Walken knocks the ball away. Still trying to get down low. Now the trap comes, and she's going to go ahead and just chuck up a shot, and they're going to give her the foul. So we'll have two free throws coming up for NC State. First free throw goes long. I don't see. Next one's going to drop 25 30. South Carolina, during the season's average, just 13 turnovers a game. But so far, just in this first half, already at 10. But luckily for them, with the amount of steals that they've gotten, it's kind of balanced things out. They're going to feed Cordosa underneath. Great post moves. But even better defense this time by NC State. Great board as well. Working it down court. South Carolina's all there, but she's going to drive in regardless. Can't get the ball to drop off the layup. Now South Carolina moving up with some pace. Cordosa moving a little slow and hobbling. Oh, looks like she's in some pain here. 
Looks like possibly an ankle injury for Cadosa. She's not putting any pressure on that right ankle. And let's see what happens here. She goes underneath. Falls? Is it an ankle or is it more of a knee? She collided knees. I can't imagine her ankle getting injured from that. Maybe just a knee knock? It might be the knee. But uh, she's going to go ahead and get Unless she already had brought back to the before. locker room. No, she was grabbing at the knee as she was heading to the locker room. So she's going to go get evaluated by their their training staff. Hopefully, she's okay and be able to come back. You can definitely see that uh, knee doing yeah. that loose wobble. You know what I mean? That loose wobble when you know it's in pain. It's not. It's not staying straight. It's kind of dipping inside. Try not to put too much pressure on yeah. it. Quick foul call after the get back together. Foul called on maybe Collins. That's what I'm missing. Little pass down bottom to Fagan. Fagan could not get the pass, the, the shot to drop. But NC State on the fast break. Oh, College almost three. Got, got it. Tie game. Fifty two seconds left in the in the second quarter. Johnson misses the three. Rebound for South Carolina. Moving the ball around. Gets it back down bottom to walk and swing pass to the baseline. Three miss. Out of bounds is going to be NC's ball. They're going to say, they're going to say it's South Carolina's ball. Oh, no I way. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I you're saw, I, you're I saw like NC's three, ball. maybe four seconds ahead of me. Oh, am I? Oh, damn. Yeah. So We're gonna ball down low. Let me know when Fagan makes it. Yeah. Made it. Okay. All right, SC maintain the lead. Five seconds to get a bucket. They get a clean look, and she's gonna get fouled. I don't know about a oh, jump yeah. ball there, right? She's Watkins trying to say that yeah, she she ball. had a hand <laughs> on the ball. No. <laughs> If she did, yeah, you, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Right. I mean, to me, it looked like she was all over her neck. <laughs> <laughs> Misses the first. She's one of three for the line so far. As we show Paige. Yeah, they do call her Paige Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like she just played basketball with that walk. Her walk yeah. is mean. <laughs> And she looks she looks so innocent too. Me and ass walk look innocent as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Full court shot almost goes in. Oh. Oh my goodness. She was this close to making that. Oh my this goodness. This close to making that. Right off this the front close. of the rim. <laughs> She's definitely practiced that. All right, so we headed to the half. 32-31. South Carolina by one. Graven Jackson, I should have got nine assists already. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. They're, they're packing up some stats, man. I mean, so far, uh, yeah. looking at our stats for South Carolina, obviously we know Cordosa has been balling out, leading all uh, scorers with 16 points, only missing uh, two shots, unfortunately having to go to the uh, locker room mm -hmm. right before halftime. Hopefully we get some update on her, and it's just a, just a little bang up, and she's able to get retaped and get sent back out there. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, I mean, she has seven rebounds. 
Uh, Watkins coming off the bench already with eight boards. Uh, you know, some scoring coming from Johnson, uh, Papau, the other Johnson, as well as uh, Full Wiley and Fegan. And for the NC State Wolfpack, 10 Ready points seat. by James, man. She has been shooting. In, but I don't know why she hasn't yeah. shot more. I think she got took those two very quick, and then the ball just stopped going through her. You know, I, I would have been trying to set her up for some, for some shots because yes. you let her get cold. You let her get cold. Uh, yes. Yes. E- exactly. Exactly. Knowing that, well, like, you, like you stated before the beginning of the game, that her, her three-point percentage is so high, you got to give her the opportunities. That means if – it's that high. Her precision is really good. You know, just give her that ball. Give her the ball. Let her shoot. And just make sure if she missed, get the rebound. Opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. What you need. I definitely hope uh, Cordoza comes back. We'd like to see South Carolina at full. Just to see how this game would turn out. Absolutely. Come yeah, um Go get my water. Can you give me the BR back screen, please? I can definitely do that. Or maybe I can't. Can I? Uh, yeah, I can. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't remember right, if I had it on here or not. <laughs> my zone, zone. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, so how's everybody doing today? What is y'all's thoughts on the first half so far? Do we think if Cordoza can't come back, do we think that South Carolina can still hold on? I mean, so far when she's off the court, it's been a bit of a struggle. NC State each time have taken advantage whenever uh, Cordoza has gone out, which has limited her to the amount of rest that she's been able to take so far uh, in this game. I think without South Car- without Cordoza in, they don't have a true game plan of, of what they want to do. Cordoza is such a big part of working the ball inside, feeding her, whether it's in her backdoor cuts, her working out of the post, or even her just feeding open open uh, shooters. They're going to have to have a big uprising for Watkins. She's been the one that's been getting down low, playing very physical, very aggressive, especially uh, on the rebounding. Has three offensive boards so far tonight. She's going to have to be a big, big factor if uh, Cordoza is not able to return. What up, Samuel? How you doing, brother? Hope all is well with you. What you been up to, man? Hope hope your week's been good. Getting ready for the uh for the weekend. Or oh, we're in the weekend now, TGIF. TGIF. Anybody got any big plans for this weekend? Doing good. Well, that's good to hear, man. I don't have anything huge planned. I got a couple of homework stuff trying to get fully caught up. Got just a month left of school, or actually less than a month now of school left. So kind of uh, trying to get ahead of the game on a couple classes that I can and got some big assignments coming up. But I am going to go play some golf on uh, Saturday. It's been, been uh, about three or four weeks since I played, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully I play well. My blisters finally healed up, so I hope, I hope I can smack that thing.
Man, that that dude. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like so distracted. This dude is going ham on the violins. Like this dude is going crazy. <laughs> he doing like back bends and everything as he jamming that uh them strings. Say, so, say, so I'm going uh fishing. Um, uh, I go tomorrow fishing Saturday night. Hell yeah! What you going? Uh, what y'all going fishing for? Catfish, trout, bass. You said at nighttime, so I'm assuming. Probably, but I know we normally go catfishing late at night. I think, I think trout and catfish you can do like late night, early morning though, right? <laughs> I have been fishing forever. And I keep every time someone mentions it, I always am like, man, I could really, I could really feel like going fishing, and then I just don't. Do another one. Oh man, dude! I'm reading the all the negativity coming out right now of uh from the Pelican Zion is officially out uh, with a finger injury, and it's kind of a soft injury. I would expect him to play as well, but everybody's like, "Oh, the season's over. It's done. Quit it all." Like we're still in, potentially in. You know, we're still in the play in, and still have a good chance of making it just straight up into the playoffs. But the season's over. Crazy man, crazy negativity. Uh, you say you're going to get some catfish? Okay, okay. I love some catfish, man. Last time we went was probably around the pandemic, so like three, four years ago. And uh, we went, and we didn't catch a whole bunch. I think we caught like five, like one be one good size one, and then like four, like just like, you know, keepers, but none, none crazy. And um, I hadn't filleted. <laughs> I hadn't filleted the meat in like years. Like I, I've always had my uh, my dad always normally does it or my grandma will do it. And I was like, like oh, I'll just do it this time, even though it's been a while. And I butchered that thing, man. I turned them fillets into nuggets. It was so bad. And do it my way. Oof. Who are you going with, Sammy? You just going going with some friends, family? Boom, 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 ba doom, ba doom. <laughs> Yo, Deck in the building. Is Deck here? Or is it, I think it's just re-up just came through. Well, Deck, appreciate you for keeping that uh, membership rolling. Much love, my brother. Can't wait for NFL season. Get you back in here. I got some questions for you, too, about your, your Saquon, uh, with Saquon Barkley. Uh, Braden Price. Uh, what you talking about, Samuel? Who is Braden Price? Is that somebody I should know? Okay. 
Oz is back. You is back? Well, welcome back. Yeah, I put some chicken out to defrost so I can make some. Because I'm hungry. You said a uh, YouTuber? Oh, okay. Is that is that who you're going is that who you're going fishing with? Trying to like constantly scroll through That's what's up. X to see if uh, there's any news on Cardoza. Oh, okay, let me see. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently on ESPN, but I don't I don't see anything just yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything yet either. It, it, it just shows her heading to the locker room. I mean, thing is, it really didn't look. It didn't look bad, you know. It looked like they just banged knees, and and uh, you know, that's what caused it. Yeah. Said yes. Okay. Well, that's cool, I'm thinking man. More so, this is a, a. I think it's more so a, a rewrap, and then she's back out to the game. Splash. I know I slowed it down so uh so for I slowed down my live to be with yours, but it pushed yourself back to live, so I don't know oh, okay. what, what <laughs> ad are you seeing right now. Uh the track and field one. It, it's just a college one. Never mind. It's just college. You see the Oklahoma guy? The cow. Volleyball. No, nah, nah. nah, yeah. Soccer. I think I already Basketball. saw that. Dame Lillard. Yeah, I already saw that. I'm ahead of you now somehow. Becky. Yeah, I'm ahead of you somehow. That's weird. See. <laughs> now I see a pile of bacon. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at now. Somehow I somehow I got ahead of you by a couple seconds. <laughs> Tell me how that works. <laughs> so weird. I have no idea because I w- I clicked on the game because I was looking at and I saw it as it would jump back to live. I said, okay, so I'm be back in front of him. Nope, not back in front of him. <laughs> Dope. Would you sit, man? Would you sit on there, man? Is that a little tea? No, it's uh, coconut water. Oh, coconut water. Coconut water and pineapple juice. These are, oh, nice. these are good. I found them at the uh, at the uh, Dollar General. Okay, okay. I uh, saw. I've never had coconut saw water. Saw a couple weeks back. Try. Oh, really? I love. I love it now. At first, when I was younger, I tried. It, I was like, it was nasty. But then now, <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so I tried the regular coconut water by this brand, and then I had the high one that was coconut and man- with mango. And okay. I thought they were really good. And then, of course, the ingredients is just coconut water and pineapple juice. So, you know, can't really beat that. Yeah. It's not like a bunch of other stuff in it, not extra sugar and all that stuff. And it's funny because the regular, the regular version of this can has more additives in it than the one that's mixed with other stuff. Oh, really? That's funny. Yeah. The regular one got a little added sugar to it and something else, but the but they taste good. They taste good. Yeah, you know? ain't nothing wrong with that. So I always have have one can. So usually when we uh get our YouTube stuff, I go and get like about twenty cans. <laughs> <laughs> go load up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I, the guy who works there that does the shelves. I always talk to him. We both yeah. like Raiders fans and stuff. Okay. And I told him to taste it, and and he tried it. And now when I go there, he'd be like, "I think I bought all of them." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> how you need to do it. Y- y'all need to get more in stock. Talk to your owner. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, like, just give me know, give me a case for me. Person that comes in there and buys them. Man, I just want to make uh, let's see. They're talking about, about her case. injury now. Just, just let me buy a case. All right, so she Cordoza right, is back for warmups, so that is big time. Cordoza, like I said, leading all scores with 16 points, shooting seven for nine, and second in rebounds with seven boards so far tonight. 
Uh, looking to get an easy double double. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely expect Azia James from uh, SC to get to, to NC to get more opportunities. She only got ten points, and she should definitely have more points than that right now going into the half. Uh, she should have more. She should have more than five shots. Very true. She only got ten points. That's not good. So Camila has a full leg wrap or a sleeve or H I'm sorry. On her right leg. Yeah. I mean so it's still a little bit of discomfort, but it'll loosen up. That momentum will take over. But South Carolina will start with the ball here in yeah. the third quarter. And we're gonna get an easy bucket. NC State forgot to uh forgot to tighten their boots whenever they checked in. Raven Johnson with yeah, the uh, the drop. The locker room. Ball working. Good crossover. James, long three. No good on that one. Definitely some uh, mis discomfort. Pow, pow. Ball from seeing a run. Yeah, pow, pow can ball too. Tahina, pow, pow. She got five points. Good inside cut. To draw the foul, we we'll have two free throws for James coming up. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Bless you. Second, in the, second division. Pa, uh, Tina Tahina Pow Pow's second division of three point shooting. It's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah. James makes the first free throw. Uh, just long in the second. James misses the second. Pow pow swings. Ooh. Ball ends up in Kadoa's hands, but gets knocked out of bounds. Yeah, it should say with, South, with Carolina. South Carolina. Absolutely. 18 seconds to go. Plenty of time to get a yeah. good shot off. It's their first attempt at trying to get the ball to Cardoso there. I bring it back up top. Calling the play. Johnson works it to Cardoso. Cardoso is going to get double. Good feed inside to Watkins. Watkins can't get the finish. But what she does so well is getting the boards. Yes, sir. And the putback. 39, 32. Ten boards already for Ashlyn Watkins. Make it 11. Now with a seven-point lead to mark their largest lead of the night. Johnson, pow, pow. Tahina, pow, pow. Top of the key. Woo! Oh my God, Johnson oh. Raven Johnson shot looks so pretty. She like charges that thing up. She's so, it's all Johnson. wrist. She puts so much flick into it. <laughs> that thing yeah, trying to spin in it so its own orbit. <laughs> Isaiah James with another shot now has 13, 42, 34. Pow pow driving inside. Yeah, Good pow, feed, pow, pow, Watkins. Watkins. Yeah. Yeah, the cash. Lay, the easy lay. Oh, almost a steal by Johnson. NC State getting sloppy. And trying to find something to calm him down. Page gets inside. Can't get the finish. Offensive board is going to oh, get the foul. I don't know about that. I one. don't know. I don't know about that call. Not as Coach Rock Johnson would say, not so fast, my friend. <laughs> I love the team play, man. That's what makes Absolutely. that's what makes NC two A women's ball so much superior compared to men's ball. The team players are so much better. Absolutely.
First free throw is going to drop. Free throw drops. And the second, make it 36-44. Eight-point lead, 15 points off the bench for South Carolina, just six for NC State. But NC State's only played, I believe, one, maybe two bench players tonight. I believe you're Working correct. inside. Good floater. Too short. Cardoso with the board and the putback. She's playing with a bum knee, and y'all can't get a body on her. Yeah. Rivers inside. Kick out. Three-point look. Out. Strong. Watkins with another rebound. She's going for 20. Johnson all the way inside. Well. Inside Johnson. pass. Cortosa. Is it the shoes? And we got a timeout call by NC State. I think it is. I think it's, an, I think it's a knee wrap. It's a new wrap. It's a new wrap. <laughs> It's a new wrap. 48-36. South Carolina put up 16 points so far in the third, just to five by NC State. Let me check my check my email. Oh, go for it. And I had to look down, check the Pell's game. Well, I need to win so bad. <laughs> I was checking my um I was checking my credit report, trying to, you know, trying to fix everything. Yeah. And my car stuff is still on there when it's supposed to be it's supposed to be off like four or five months ago. Oh Jesus. But because it's you know, the car is fully paid for now, but because I haven't been paying on it because it's paid for. It's right. showing that it's, you know, behind. It was like, no. It's weird because it shows it's yeah. behind. It says, oh, you're five months behind, but the pr the amount that is behind is zero. Zero dollars. <laughs> making a negative. It's still, it's still a negative mark on my account, my credit right. card. I'm like, this is stupid. So they're supposed to send me something that I have to send, send back out to get it taken off and fixed. I just got an email today from my bank that says your your credit score misses you. I didn't know a credit score could miss you. Apparently it does. <laughs> and, <laughs> Apparently it does. Uh, Sam says, uh, I'm going now. Uh, tonight drive living. Oh, wow. Damn, that's a drive, man. That's a hell of a drive. All to go fishing? Oh, That's yeah. crazy. Wow. Is it like a is it like a tournament or something like that? Events. Or is it like an event? I mean, I saw he's a pretty big uh YouTuber. So is it like a big event or something like that? That's going to be one hell of a vlog before the, before the whole uh fishing even starts. Right. 10 hour drive. Vicksburg, Mississippi to Monroe, North Carolina. Damn. Oh, bow fishing. Bow fishing? Ooh, that could be fun. I've seen people do that on YouTube. I've never gone bow fishing. I've got invited a couple times, but never, never. I've never make it done out. it. Yeah. I've seen people do it. I've never done it. Yeah. There we go, JV. Hmm. Need to know. Say so it's fun. It sounds fun. I, I do like using a, a bow, so I wouldn't I probably would have fun. Yeah, you didn't you take a do a bow class or something like that at uh, Fresno? Or archery yeah, class? I did. Yes, sir. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Even after getting injured in that class, I really enjoyed it still. <laughs> got injured. She got shot with a bow. Yeah. <laughs> How um, the hell that so happened? In the beginning, you have to. You have. To, in the beginning of the class, you have to string your own bow. If you can't string your own bow, you can't be in the class. Right, so but well, how'd you... my my uh the bow the bow the bow I had the string was uh, deteriorated on one end. And uh -huh. They didn't know that. 
So when I went to go string it, it popped. And when it popped, it went like this and came across my arm. Oh, it smacked you. And so I had a welt and a, a it, it, oh, it broke the skin. It caught it? Open. Like it literally, because it was like, whoosh, uh, uh, and it was, it happened so fast that I didn't feel the pain. I felt yeah. the pain like two seconds later. <laughs> right. <laughs> After seeing my skin is kind of slightly open up like the, uh, the Nile River. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back at it now. South Carolina like... up by 12. James crossing over, trying to get inside. He's going to go left hand off the glass. Can't get it to drop. And all of NC State is just gone cold, ice cold. Yeah. Watkins with another rebound. And now South That's Carolina ball, just playing small, smart basketball. Taking time off clock, not forcing nothing. They're going to get a foul drawn against... Uh, NC State as she was going baseline to the kick out. It's going to be the second foul on Mimi Collins. And bound to Cardoza to Watkins to Pow Pow. Pow Pow under double coverage. We'll lose the ball. It will be a turnover. She said, my bad. Good defense for NC. Yeah. Dude, I'll make it up. <laughs> I'll make it up. Pow, pow, guarding. Working out to James. James Johnson all over. Going inside. Kicks out to uh, Mimi Collins. Not a great pass. Going to go out of bounds. And Coach just saying, like, come on, guys. Got to calm it down. Settle in. Make right decisions. Yeah. They haven't made one this half. Oh, yeah, because we know this team can can play with SC because they did it for the first two halves, so first two quarters. So we know they can do it. Watkins inside, kicks out. Wiley for the three-point shot. It's going to be off to the left, and it's going to be out of bounds off SC. Missed miss three-point attempt by Malaysia full Wiley. But Wiley with the full court press on the inbound. To Brooks. To Collins. Swings around to Rivers. Rivers gets her pocket picked. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, yeah. It's going to stay here, though. So it went from, time it went out. from in, the, in the second quarter, no movement. Just none at all. And now, movement with no intent. Yeah. Everybody's moving, but without any intent. Not to yeah. get to a place, not to open up for a shot, yeah. not yeah. to do anything, just to move. There's no planning going on right now. That's what's just, breaking them down. They're not even looking to the, to, the, to the hoop to make a shot. It's just move, 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 move. Move. Like, at least take an attempt, a proper attempt. That's a big ass watermelon. I wonder if those are good. You know what I mean? Like, are they too big to be good? Yeah. Like, I wonder what how it changes like their taste, like I, the texture. So I know, like when I was doing my first attempt at garden, certain vegetables and fruits when they get to a certain size, they they basically become seed bears. So you know, the flavor is not really there like it should be. Right. Because once I get to a certain size, the it's I know it sounds weird, but the mentality of it is it's now producing seeds for another harvest, not for to be. Well, seeded. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's uh uh oh goodness uh that's ecology, is basically what that is. It's yeah. ecology. It's that's how it's like a natural order of like how things happen. Yeah. And that's that's the reason why like um like there's different rules and guidelines to like like the you know doing crops and different things like that and like when you and and such because it's to keep that balance because you could destroy a crop and make oh, it yeah, go extinct yeah. if you don't follow those those type of rules. 
uh can am atv ride in mud okay oh man so you're gonna do it all that's sick yeah you're gonna buy the whole ball so so you you bringing out uh you're bringing a trailer out there with you and everything to bring it bring your atv <laughs> swear jar <laughs> so stupid <laughs> no uh they so say what they got stuff for you to use I was showing Caitlin arriving to the arena. I was wondering where they were going to show her. I was like, man, I said, we've seen like seven things of uh, Becker and nothing of Caitlin Clark. I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah. Sitting at 3,900 points. Historical run by Caitlin for her career in anti 2 a Absolutely. I got you. I hope, I hope that game is off the chain. <laughs> to be honest, I hope it's off the chain. Say, man. All right. Let's see what NC State can do. It's been not many score in the last minute or so. James goes inside, but again, moving without intent, dribbling kind of crazily. The ball is not staying close to her body. It's, it's all way out here. Easy pickings for South Carolina. Yeah, she didn't even look at the rim. She was looking to go to the pass of the ba- opposite side baseline, which I'm like, try to make something happen. Johnson. Johnson. Tessa Johnson with the big time three. Splash. <laughs> South Carolina, South Carolina, five of 13 on three. Oh, man. Can't buy a bucket now, man. For Wiley. Back to Tessa. Tessa for three. It's going to be short. You know, I never understand how a team a team can go that. into go into half and come out playing worse. It's not like in it's not like South Carolina uh, defensively at least is playing like superiorly better because they were already playing great. But. NC offensively has came out with with no type of uh, plan, no game plan. They're they're not running any type of plays. It, it's just street ball. Go out there, dribble, and just, just pick up basketball right now. It yeah. doesn't seem like there's any organization. And we haven't seen a screen set up for a pick and roll. Carolina. You know, it's – yeah, go ahead. No, not a single thing. No, I'm saying in South Carolina, at every opportunity is attacking the rim. They're either making a shot on a temp or they're attacking the paint. Every time. James to bring it up, James kicks it out. Game. Mimi. Game. Brooks, you weren't that open. With the rock at top of the key. <laughs> <laughs> she was jumping up and down all oh, mad like she was wide open. She had stolen. Watkins on her. Oh, Wally with the drive. Man. With the fillet. Nice little spin off the glass. Is it the shoes? This is uh 53 to 36. 17 fast break points for South Carolina. Only three for NC State. Collins for three. No okay. good. Just short. A good t- opportunity. Just in it's drive. a good look. Yep. Yeah, definitely a good look. Wiley. Wiley. Three. Cardoso with the put back after the rebound. They can't stop Cardoza, man. They just can't. They can't. Baldwin, I she she's a big body, but when she gets to rock. I don't think she just knows what she wants to do. Phil Wally with the steal. I don't think so either. Great steal back. But nice comeback. Yeah. Zoe Brooks. 
nice look. I like that shot though she made. It yeah, wasn't, it wasn't counted. She shot that. She shot that from the that layup from the hip. Is she rocking the the curries? Like she rocking the pink the pink curries. She might be. The full Wiley. They're gonna okay, go to Collins so again. Question. Can't get the drop. I see see Zoe watching Zoe Brooks with the ball. I'm like, why haven't they gone through her more often? She yeah. definitely got the ball handling skills to get to the paint. I was like, gonna say the same thing. Don't go through Rivers, go through James or go through uh Brooks. Oh yeah, they're tired. Corner pass. Johnson, no good. Ooh. Ooh. Nice little toil t- a tumble, but it's okay though. I think that I think that yeah, ponytail see. helped her from banging her head against the uh the court. Okay. It's this is the thing. All right, NC State coach, run the ball through Zoe. When she gets the ball, she makes things happen. If it's yeah. either a, a shot on the temp or that she get them in foul trouble. Give her the ball. That's your answer right now. You can see it on her face. She's like, they need to give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Just give me the ball. And also, NC State, need a, uh, they need a big that plays a little better than number one. This is their first points. <laughs> first points. <laughs> since, since, <laughs> it's been six minutes. That's crazy. It's crazy. Play call, change up by Pow Pow from Coach Staley. Swing to Johnson, to Pow, back to Johnson. He's going to swing one more time. Seven seconds up for the clock. Pow Pow has to shoot, but Pow, gets Pow. it. Splash. He said it's nothing. Seven. Great pass inside, but better defense. Oh, oh my great goodness. Recovery. Great recovery. 22 seconds yeah. in the third. <laughs> Don't tell say dribble. Dribble that thing. We ain't no rush. Good. We up by 20. Oh my God! Bree Hall said, "I'll shoot it with the clock going down. Nothing but buckets. You got to hold it there, Bree. That's not hold it there. Just hold it there. That's not." Twenty-nine to six. A very lopsided third quarter. It, it can it get any worse, Zach? Can it get any worse? I'm disgusted. <laughs> that was <laughs> gross. Oh, see, my see, goodness. Pow Pow knows. She, she, she held it up there for her. She, she held, held it up. up. Got to give him the gooseneck. <laughs> Don't play with them all. Don't play with yeah, them. This, uh, this one might be over, bro. It might be over. It, 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 it is it's it basically over. over. It, I mean, <laughs> one point in the matter of eight minutes for NC. Yeah, very true. Very true. <laughs> what makes you say that? Uh, I'll be right back now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, let me pull up the chat so I can see what everybody's saying. Mazi, what's good? So, what a name, Gamecocks. It's, you know, honestly, it sounds like an Australian team's name. I uh, you, I can see that. I can honestly see that. You, you know it does. You know it does. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? Welcome back to the channel, man. What's what's new with you? You got your weekend started already? I'm doing good, man. Doing good, doing good. Just honestly enjoying a South Carolina play, man. 
I've only I've watched him a couple times. I haven't watched him as much as I wanted to, but to finally see him put on such a display of defense and great team basketball, it's what reminds me every time why the uh, WNBA, the future WNBA looks so much brighter than the NBA at some points, just because of how team ball and basketball is is it's always been there for them. It's always been there for WNBA and, and for the NC two A women's women's division. It's just good to see, man. It's good to see. Just pop, popped in to say what's up. Busy day today with the work, but I'll try to pop in uh, when I can. No, no doubt, no doubt. Appreciate you stopping in. We'll be um we're gonna do this game and then we're gonna do our best to do the next game as well. So if you have opportunity, come back by. We'll be we'll, we'll be here for another couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> he said it for 5 a.m. But I appreciate you, my brother. And don't work too hard. Here, let me see if I can do the redirect. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we'll be back on for the Husk Huskies versus the Hawkeyes at 8 p.m. Okay, let's look at this uh, box score. Let's look at NC State. NC State only played six players. And lead score, of course, is uh, Zia James. Zia James at thir- sitting on 13 points. Up next after her would be uh, River Baldwin. Dope name. Dope name with eight points. Then we have uh, Mimi Collins was sitting on seven. Zoe Brooks sitting on seven. And... Sanaya Rivers with two points, and lastly Madison Haynes Hayes with zero with zero points. Then we get to head over to South Carolina, who has played nine players so far. Camila Cardoza sitting on twenty-two points with eleven total rebounds, a, a light double double. Then we head over next. Got Raven Johnson with eight points. Tahini Papoa. She's sitting on eight points. And we have Ashlyn Watkins with six. Then we have uh, Tessa Johnson and Malaysia Full Wiley both sitting on five points. Then Sanaya Fagan with four. And then um, what's her name? Chloe Kitts sitting at with zero. And we're back already. So the fourth quarter, can NC State make a difference? River. Sanai Rivers hit the three, so 61 to 40. A good start for, for NC State. They need that. Excuse me. Nice little aggressive pass, but it's going to be a quick foul called. I believe that's against uh, BB Collins. All right. Tahini Popo to inbound. Down bottom, Fagan tries with the spin move, doesn't get the go. Full Wally with the rebound, gets the putback, no good. It's a loose ball. Fagan, they're going to call a jump ball, both players on the floor. But I believe the arrow is with South Carolina. Camila Cardoza is on the bench. Inbounds from Tahini. Tahina. Johnson from the from the free throw line. Tessa Johnson sitting on seven points now. James looking for the screen. Goes behind the back. Pass to Baldwin. Baldwin misses the short jumper. Watkins with 18 rebounds. Tahina Popoa passes to get kicks. It's going to be a kickball. It will remain with South Carolina. 63 to 40, the score. Can't believe Ashton Watkins got 18 rebounds. She's going to end up with about 26, 27 rebounds. All 
Watkins gets it to Tessa. Tessa with the reset. Calls a double screen, swings to Papoa. Papoa going to drive against uh, Rivers. The floater is good. 65-40 by Tahina Papoa with 10 points now. James is going to drive. Floater gets it to go. And that's what we need from James. James can be doing that the entire game. Papoa swings to Full Wiley. Full Wiley gets it to Tessa, who wants to get it down bottom to Fagan, who's going to get cho- uh, a foul against her. <coughs> the foul is going to be against River Baldwin. Tessa Thompson goes out. I mean, uh, Johnson. Fagan at the top of the key. Swings off. It's going to be a charge by Hall. Baldwin will ex- take the, uh, the charge. It's going to be off as a foul going towards South Carolina. Ball goes up the direction. 65 42 is the current score with 7.45 to go in the fourth quarter. All right, James guarded by Full Wiley on the perimeter. She's gonna drive to her right side as he put the shot up, rims out. Full Wiley with another rebound. All right, Watkins drives to the paint, shot up from the free throw line is good. Ashton Watkins, eight points and 19 rebounds. I need her to get that double-double, man. Long three is good by NC State. That was Madison Hayes, number 21. Staley definitely upset about that last possession for NC State. Call the timeout, letting the girls hear it. What's good, Christian Farfan? Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Hope you enjoy the channel while you're here. <clears throat> My name is Nonfiction. My co-host, Zach, is currently uh, off screen, but he'll be back. Oh, actually, there he is right there. So thank <laughs> you for here. subscribing. Appreciate you. Uh, score 67-45. What the heck is this commercial? This is hilarious. I was, I was <laughs> happy have you seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> they said a little bit flat, like, but you'll uh, get better. A week, like a week ago. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> great. Yeah. Oh, I got a bit of a I got a bit of a headache. That's why I had this. Oh, uh, that's not good. Have you? I eaten today? <laughs> yeah, I I tried to eat some. I had some Wendy's. Kind of last minute, we had said my mom had her uh, had a procedure this morning. So, did you get your March Madness burgers? No, they had a March Madness burger. Yeah, like if you have, I think if I don't know if it's if you have the app, but if you have the app, you get the um the the single and the double, the single for a dollar, the double for two dollars. Hmm. Well, we should have known that. Instead of paying like what five or six, mm, it's more than that. Yeah, I had um, we had my yeah, mom's procedure the, this morning, so we had to leave at like six forty-five, and so I actually I fell asleep around like probably twelve thirty-ish, and then you know of course woke up at four, mm-hmm. and so by the time we finally got back yeah. home around like ten, I got home and I was dead tired, so I crashed. I didn't wake up till like three. Ugh. Oh wow! So I went and grabbed the burger it, real hope fast. Everything went but, well. Yeah, she's 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 feeling better now. Still hurting a little bit, but she's doing better now. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's good. I mean, pain, pain, little pain is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just showed you're still breathing. There you go. All 
Okay, they're supposed to send that thing and still ain't showed up. The credit score thing? Yeah, I'm waiting for this letter. That's what they're supposed to send me. I might have to call them again. Yep. Probably so. You know how they be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, they'll they hassle you to death. You don't, you, don't, you don't do something for them, but you need, you need it the other way. Oh, exactly. Exactly, brother. Uh, give me a second. Yes, sir. Product two, the ten dollar product. <laughs> Jason Sudeikis says, so, "Do you have a new in-store product available? In-store product? We don't want." All right, 67, we're back, 45. Finally see some actual decent ball move with NC State. We're involved with a quick little lay-in. <clears throat> All right, SC. For a while with the drive. I'm call another charge. Don Sully says that is not a charge. <laughs> He's like, that is not a charge. I, it's kind of hard to say it's not because her foot slightly is moving, but I'd still give it to her if I was the ref. Rivers, three rattles out. Bo Wiley controlling the rock right now. Gonna try to get down bottom to Watkins. Watkins swings it across court. Long three for Johnson, for Raven Johnson. She now has 11 points, three for five from beyond the perimeter. James, swing pass. Comes back. Fagan with the steal. Fast break. Easy lay. Transition points. Nice steal by Sanaya Fagan. James. Behind the back with the lay off the glass. No good, but we'll get the foul call. She's trying to get her, her team amped. That was a nice pass by Watkins across court over several players' heads. Megan got some nice hands, man, to get that steal. Raven Johnson head to the bench. I believe Tessa Johnson comes back in for her. Zia James makes the free throw. 72-48. Now makes a second. 72-49. Raven Johnson head to the locker room. Kind of kind of holding her right thigh must right thigh. Well, Wally gets the uh, inbound, pushing it down court, gets it to Fagan, but it's going to be stolen. The James steps out of bounds. It's going to remain South Carolina under South Carolina's rim.
inbound to Fagan. Fagan wants to go go 1v1. Shot is going to be blocked. <clears throat> NC with the rock going to bring it down to Brooks. Brooks goes into the drive to the lane. Doesn't get it to fall. Second time around, gets the contact. Forces the contact on Bull Wiley. I think Zoe Brooks is going to be very, very nice for this team. And she's just a freshman, so she got definitely got time to develop and become even better than what she is right now. First free throw drops. Brooks makes both. 72-51 is a score. Foul uh, against Brooks on Watkins. Kayla's a Chiefs fan and Paige is a Vikings fan. <laughs> Quick pass, but gets knocked out of bounds by Isaiah James who will remain this side for South Carolina. It's going to be an under-rim inbound pass. Tahina Papau comes back into the game for Full Wiley. Uh, Fagan also leaves. I didn't see. Oh, okay. I didn't see who came in for her just yet. Watkins gets the inbound pass. Pow, pow. Pass the kids. Can't hold it on. Brooks with the steal. Brooks jumper misses. Watkins now has 20 rebounds. Papau. Guarded by Brooks. Swings the kits. Kits looks to try to do something. Gets it to Watkins. It's gonna be a reach in foul. The ball will remain with South Carolina. Tahina Papal to be the inbounder. Fouls on Lacey Steele. Tessa swings pass. Tessa's a little too hard off the glass. Misses the misses the, free, the foul. I mean the the layup. Sorry about that. River ball with the layup. I mean, with the rebound. So, with the reverse layup, no good. Foul's going to go against Tahina Papal. <clears throat> Brianna Stewart in the house. She was a two time wooden winner for UConn. Also representing Team USA. <clears throat> Zell Brooks makes the first. Once again, Zell Brooks is a bright spot, a freshman's bright spot. Definitely not scared of the, the light at all. Oh, that's funny. They're telling the story how when Zell Brooks was in high school, she got the chance to participate in the WNBA All-Star Game in 2020, where she play, she did the skills challenge with uh, Sabrina in Ionescu and told her not to mess up <laughs> as a high schooler. <laughs> definitely shows that she's not afraid of the moment, not what, whatsoever. Now the ball, the seam definitely going through Brooks' hand. James kind of waves her on like, you got it. P pass to James, who's going to lose it, will be a kick ball. The ball will remain with NC State. The court looks a little to some players kind of moving around and they're sliding a little bit. I think they need to be in a quick dusting. 
Raven Johnson heading back to the locker room, I mean, to the bench. Okay, so somebody did come with dust. Brooks gets the inbound pass. That's how I know I've been talking. Got it by full <laughs> wide. He's passing James. James for three. I'm oh, talking wait, to my say? client, and uh, I'm talking to my client, and uh, I'm telling him bye. Like I guess got, we we've been talking the last like two hours. I was like, all right, bro, peace. <laughs> like I'm telling my client, peace out. <laughs> 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 Fagan, quick pass. 74 54. Oh, what a bucket. James hits, finally hits one. Flash. So, what's Dawn talking to a ref about? What's something she's concerned about? Just oh, some of the. Opportunity that where it should, probably could have been a foul call, call to reach in, but hasn't been wasn't getting called. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's just Don trying to butter up the refs because the the yeah. no calls I think kind of fit. They weren't uh, were anything serious where it's like okay that should have been a foul call. Right, it's I the final it's, it's four. Been, it's been called yeah. pretty fair to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's doing her job. Uh, did you set up the redirect to the next one on this? Uh, I. I did. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to open my... I'm going to mute myself while you're here. And then I'm going to open... Well, you muted yourself, so now I can't hear you. Oh, I'm pressing my too quick. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably, it's probably going to make me... It's probably going to make me slow down on my, on my video. So Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Well, we got. To, well, I mean, the next game doesn't well, start right away, studio. so you know we'll. At, we, you could just wait. It won't start right away. There's gonna it be a little gap in between. It's supposed to start at eight, but it ain't gonna start at eight. There's gonna I be guess. a little gap. I just want to make sure I get it done. Yeah, I hear you. All all right. crap out. Well, yeah. Do you do you do you think? And then I'll uh, you know, I'll hold it down for the next minute and a half. I mean, what you could do is put the 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 be right back on, so then he won't see oh, me okay. freezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can still hear me. Yeah. Great finish right at the end there. And South Carolina just continuing on their just torment through this tournament. They're going to be tough to beat. I mean, you know, the, the thing is, is with UConn yeah. and with uh, and with Iowa, you know, they can score at will. And they're going to have to have some of their best shooting yeah. night to be able to beat South Carolina. Their defense is just that good. And what South Carolina does so good is bully you and wear you down. Like, I mean, just look at this. Even at the latest of minutes, they're still drive inside, kick back out, drive inside, kick back out. Where making the players run, taking yeah. the air out of their sneakers. It's, it's constant pressure. Constant pressure. And they're gonna James, I think that was an accidental foul, but I don't even I don't even think South Carolina is gonna take another shot here. It should just run on down. They may take one, but it's just about over here. And like I said, guys, we will be live for the next game as well. So uh we're gonna have it set up as a redirect. So as immediately after we end this stream, uh you will get sent over to the next one, which will be the Iowa Hawkeyes versus the Yukon Huskies. He's going to knock down the first free throw and the second 21 point lead. NC State will go down, take one more attempt, and it'll be all but over. You know, great tournament by NC State 31 and 6 for the season. Competed very well in the first quarter, and even in the second, things just fell apart in, in the second half, unfortunately, for uh, this team. And missed shot. Little offensive board for Brooks, who will be able to put in the bucket, cutting it down to a 19 point lead. And the final six seconds to click off four, three, two, and one. South Carolina Gamecocks heading 
to the NCAA championship. I'm here. I'm now at a gas station near in Pearl, Mississippi. Nice, man. Okay, I'm back. All right, cool. No. <clears throat> well, you got that done quick, man. Let you. Rocking it up. Trying to trying to do it quick because it's like everything was just double in my head. So I was like, <laughs> just type, 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 type. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll close things out here. We'll do our recap on the uh, the next stream. We're going to you know do restroom break and all that, but go ahead and head on over there and we'll be ready for probably the most anticipated game of this Final Four. Paige Buecher. Okay, I'm going I'm to leave here Kayla so I can Clark. get over there. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Uh, oh, I should have told him to text me when he's ready. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. We'll catch you in just a couple minutes. Uh, Where's my buttons? I'm losing my buttons. All right. We'll be back.